to begin with, this is my introduction. That's my name, uh, okay. Azra. Yeah, I have uh, kind of uh, like more than seven years of experience in business intelligence and uh, data warehousing. So I do end-to-end -end implementations for data warehousing and BI. So I've been working with ClickView and Informatica extensively. And uh, ClickView I've been working for last five years continuously on various projects and various different uh, business industries and uh, business functions. So that's a quick round of introduction from my side. To begin with, uh, so if you had known the reporting architectures earlier, or uh, it has been the way it has been, the IT department was the core responsible for giving out any reports or charts. What the IT used to do is they used to be in the center. They used to have the access to database. They used to have these stack vendors, the Oracle, IBM Cognos, or business objects. The end user used to go to the IT, give the requirements, IT convert those requirements into various uh, technical requirements, then build it, then give it to the user. Now any change the user had to again go back to the IT to do this. So now these change could be as small as changing a dimension. Suppose you give a chart for them with a region wise chart. Now they might look, they might want to flip that region wise to a city wise or they might be there, want to flip it to an employee wise. Now those kind of reports that they wanted, the dimension changing, the flexibility in reports, you for that also they had to go back to the IT to help them anywhere do that. Either change the report or change the query or change the way it is built. So that's why a new kind of software wave came in. This uh, cell service BI is what they call it as. Now ClickU brought in, ClickU was the first to bring out this kind of uh, business in intelligence or business discovery tool rather if I have to position click with. So it's more like a business discovery which allows you to play with your data. Now how does it do? IT is still responsible but only to for the database connections. So click with sits between, sits it kind of, it's the center thing. So IT is the database and the users. IT is responsible to install click view, administer click view and make sure it has all the connections to the data sources and has the right data models. The end users get the applications, now the front end UI applications develop, but they have full flexibility to change the data, to play with the data, to do analytics, to discover and all. They don't have to keep going back to IT. In case they need more specific reports, they can build it out of the application with the data that they get. So that, that was the more intention of the self-service BI and it was kind of very well accepted in the market. Right now, ClickU has around 34,000 customers worldwide, and it's still growing. And Click has brought, ClickView has brought in another tool called ClickSense. So again, it is it's a it's a exceptional visualization tool, and it is again the, the customers are growing, and it has a good market basically. Now here, the ClickView overrides the kind of traditional principle of business users going to IT, then going to database, and then it's going to take like ages for them to build it. So the users have the data in front of them, have different graphics, different visualizations. They just click, click, and they get their information or insights about the business. In that scenario, the deployment cycle of ClickView is also very less, which everybody likes it. Even the IT likes it, the business IT, business also likes it. So ClickView brought in this business IT partnership, which is more interesting, where it's like IT is kind of business is equally responsible than IT. In the earlier cases, business used to give the use case. IT was the sole responsible unit for delivering that solution. Uh, it has, I mean, ClickView uh, is built on HTML5. So the advantage is it is accessible on any device. There is no special development required to be accessed on, for it to be accessed on any device. It's only the screen size is much shrink, but the whole uh, user experience is exactly the same on any device, basically. A simple architecture of ClickView, if you take a quick look, so you have the data data sources. The main component is the ClickView server and the publisher. So server is the heart of ClickView. So ClickView is a generally an in-memory analytical tool. So when they say in-memory, it's the memory of this ClickView server that you're seeing, is which, is, which will be utilized. ClickView server is a software which is basically installed on a hardware physical box. Now the RAM of that physical box is what will be utilized for the in-memory analytics. Now what happens, when I say in memory, ClickView server has a capable RAM, 
the click view developer on the right side, the data analyst or the business analyst developers create QVWs, QVW documents, which are click view work file documents, which will have UI, different analytics, which will have data. Put the files onto the ClickView server. ClickView server will upload it into the RAM of the server and provide access to the users through access point. Now users can discover it through using anything, laptop, phone, or I mean tablet or anything. Now that's one of the reasons that I mean that's the main reason ClickView is ClickView server is the heart of the entire architecture. Publisher is an add-on component which helps you to schedule jobs, refresh data. Now once the data analyst or business analyst creates the file, right, he will define the connection strings to the data sources and update the file on the server. So every time we have based on the schedules, the data will refresh every time. Now both are managed by QQ management console. So it's a browser based console again. And window shared file is again optional to store any files or anything. It is completely integratable to any sec high security systems which is existing in an, any organization. So if you look at the entire architecture, it's only simple. There's no extra settings for mobile development. There's no extra settings for any other development. It's only the ClickView server and the publisher. Two main components if you have, you can have the full working functionality of ClickView. The desktop client is a separate software kind of a thing. It's available as personal edition without a license. Now, it is a full functional edition only. There is no difference between a license and a functional edition. The only limitation is in a personal edition, you will not be able to access documents created by other users. So you can install it on your com personal computer, create documents and use it. It will give you full functionality. The entire development life cycle of ClickView is you create content. So the ClickView developer creates contents connecting to data sources, connecting to I mean, various data types, bringing it, creating a data model. The same content, the QEW, is placed onto the ClickView server. Now the ClickView server will host the file. So the publisher will publish the file onto the access point in the memory RAM. Now ClickView users will access this access point or RAM from any location or any device and use it. So that's create content, reload, publish, and consume content basically. Now, this brings us to kind of three roles in ClickView. So in our ClickView job profile, there are three kinds of roles. Or majorly split as two roles. One is the IT team, which is a clear cut differentiation, different kind of a role, which basically who are who take care of the server publisher administration. Developer and designer put together is one role. So basically when you, they call for a click with developer, they refer to one one complete uh, like person who knows development and design. To more to be more precise, ClickView has split these roles into developer and designer so that the organization could leverage their existing workforce. Now develop, like I said, ClickView connects to data sources, extracts data, then creates a data model, then cre you create a UI. Now the connection of data, extraction of data is done using scripting. Scripting is nothing but modified SQL. Now this script is written, well, I mean, you write various scripts, extract the data, create the data model. Now the power of scripting is it allows you to do resolve a lot of complex business logics. So there are a lot of advanced functions than SQL in ClickView which will enable you to do complex queries easily. So that's, it's not very complex querying that you will write. But yes, you will be writing some scripts. Now this is called as the de developer. So the scripts, the end result of writing the scripts will be like a data model. So you design a data model with facts and dimensions and you try to define that kind of a structure. Once that is done, the UI part of it is basically creating charts, creating graphs out of the data. Now this is where the designer part comes in. And how do you leverage existing skill set is whoever is in your organization is working on databases, SQL scripting, all data warehousing can easily learn developer and start de doing that development work. The business analysts who are basically converting 
uh, technical uh, business requirements to technical requirements. They don't have to convert it. They themselves can learn the designer part and develop on. I mean, develop on that so that it is. I mean, they get what they expect out of it. That these are the three kind of roles in the organization. My training is basically for uh, uh, 30 30 days. Uh, I mean, 30 hours kind of a training. The methodology that I follow is, or we follow is over here is every day one hour. So this is the curriculum that is the developer and designer. So I do I start from the scratch. There is no prerequisites for this training session. But if you have a skill knowledge, that is great. But apart from that, I'll be scratch, starting from scratch. How you do it in ClickView? So I'll take you to a good level so that you can start working on projects and also do your projects basically. Every day one hour is what we plan. So I got train a couple of topics over here and you go back practice for the rest of the day and come back if you have any doubts or anything. That's what we do. Now coming back to your experience basically. I'll go to the ClickView desktop client. So, so this is the ClickView desktop client. We start with this. So if you install it, it will something look like this only as a personal edition. So you can start a new file. It will ask you for that wizard, you can cancel it. Save the file. Now this is a UI, so if you look at it, right click charts, you can create charts, you can create uh, various visualizations. And if you want to write the script, you'll have to go to files, edit script. Okay. So over here you'll have to explain, I mean, this is the place where you write script. So I'll come back to this. I'll start another personal edition. So the front end right after development, after you have created, so there are various kind of visualizations that you can create. So comparing your set values, bar chart, stack bar, units, curve bar chart, combo chart. There are kind of couple of predefined visualizations that ClickView has created. So all these line chart, radar chart, ratio, share, trends, relationship. Now all these charts are built basically out of the box. So you just drag drop, select the dimensions, right? You don't have to do anything much. All these charts are inbuilt. Now there are a couple of things that, I mean, these are all standard charts which are defined by ClickView. Now, of course, the visualizations can't end here, right? So if you look at the way the world is moving, so there are exceptional visualizations using D3 charts and other various charts. What ClickView did was it opened up a small API kind of a thing so that those charts can be integrated into ClickView. Now, not exactly D3 charts that you can integrate in ClickView, but you can have something called as extension objects in ClickView. Now, what these extension objects are, these are built in JavaScript. So, these are packages that you build in JavaScript using JavaScript and deploy it. Users can install it in ClickView and use it. So, what happens is, suppose this org chart is not available in ClickView, okay? But somebody has done this in, a ja in, the, in JavaScript and presented the visualization for this. It's taking a lot of time to render it. Oh, yeah, I have not installed these. Uh, Extension objects, so it will not show it up. 
So these are all extra extension objects that you they have created in JavaScript and everything. Now there is definitely a lot of demand for this at this point of time. So if you can integrate more specific other charts into ClickView, like integrating any R, any other application. One is this now. So Right. So this is like an organization chart. This is not available in ClickView. It is not an inbuilt chart in ClickView. They have taken a JavaScript in the back end. They have taken a different object which is available in the market and created this chart for this. Now, like I said, there are 34,000 customers. There are different requirements that come up in the JavaScripts. So if you can master this, I think you will be like good in demand basically. A lot of things that users need in ClickView, which is not out of box in ClickView. So in that scenario, it gives you an opportunity as a like a business opportunity where it is using your JavaScript skills, you can do it. So there's a lot of this community which builds. There are a lot of experts who do this. So they work on JavaScript and they have deployed a lot of extension objects. So if you just Google ClickView extension object, you'll understand how to create them. What they are, I mean, how do you deploy them and all. So that is one of the key areas. I mean, if you look at your existing experience, you can utilize that. Apart from click view, so there is something called as Kist recently. Now, it is no different than click view except for visualization. So all the back end, all the development bit of Click sense is exactly as click view. But the tool allows you to use the D3 charts. A completely open click view, if I have to say. Click view is still a little rigid. So it uh, only takes JavaScripts. It doesn't give you more flexibility to do a lot of I mean, uh, uh, third party integrations. But click sense is a new product from click view, which came out around uh, one year back. And there is nothing much as a developer you can do it. But as a user, you can do a lot of things. So it is not a developer tool. It's more like, like a user tool. But there are a few charts which are not readily available in ClickSense, but they have opened it up to the D3 charts. You can integrate all the D3 charts into this. So the integration is more simpler than ClickView. In ClickView, you might struggle, but in ClickSense, it is more easier. So if you The difference between click sense and click view. Again, it's a. I mean, they have some two market strategy where they are trying to create two products now. Click say, click view has been more like guided analytics where you create these predefined dashboard UIs and people use it. With click sense, they have brought in. They have brought in more capabilities of the user into drag drop things and create charts. It's a completely kind of a visualization tool. So if you you'll yourself see what the difference is. Right, let's take this consumer good sales. And like I said, it allows more exceptional visualizations. So ClickView does has uh, good, good visualizations, but all these are like developer based. So a developer designs this creates the color, creates the content, everything. In ClickSense, it's more the tool itself has uh, the good visualization, the objects that are available in tool, right? So all these charts that you are seeing, the graphs, everything, these are all objects. So I have created one object. So waterfall chart, one bar chart, all these are objects that you create. But in ClickSense, those objects itself have good capabilities. Right? So if you go to the dashboard, Like this is definitely not there in ClickView, right? So the interactivity of the application. So this kind of scroll, these 
kind of charts. So in click it's click you click it it changes the whole thing but over here you have some sort of more interactive visualization which is good for the eyes basically. Now these visualizations can come through D3 charts. So whatever D3 charts you have, you can integrate them. So if you have good understanding of D3, I think this is the way forward. So because uh, more and more customers are growing to take click view. So because like I said, it's just one year old, so it's going to start. So if you go to actually the click view, click sense community, you will understand how many people are creating a lot of D3 charts, I mean, integrating D3 charts into this. So the visualization space over here is a little like yeah, you can see that it's totally different. So it's more interactive, it's more like pleasing to the user and all. All this while Tableau used to win over because of this reason from ClickView. So that is one of the competitive products that Click and the ClickView brought in for this. I think that it's still at the nascent stage, so not a lot of enterprise customers are using it at this point of time. But they are developing, so they are bringing multiple objects, creating more this thing. And like I said, ClickView was a little rigid for outside uh, integrations. ClickSense is completely opened up for a lot of third-party integrations. So you can use JavaScripts, you can use D3 charts, and a lot of things to present it over here. Again, if you are really looking at a career in that direction of business intelligence and analytics basically. Otherwise, if you learn, I mean, if you're looking at only the database development, I mean, a business intelligence tool application, not the UI or integrating these JavaScript or that kind of languages, I think click you know, alone you can learn and you can start working on that. So that's a small uh, introduction and uh, demonstration of all what you can do with click what my training will be. So I will be sharing the uh, download links sure. for the tool and uh, of course the, data, the database that I will be using for demonstration. So you will uh, basically have a small uh, same instance on your computer too, which will keep us both in the same place so that whatever I demonstrate you could practice on your systems. And that will, that's not like a trial license or anything. It's again express, you should have known, I mean you would have heard SQL Express Edition is what mm -hmm. I use and there's a sample database from Microsoft that I would use. Right. You can keep right. that for your future practice also. That's good. That's good. Okay. Sure.